Grade 11s. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Martins. If you're new here, welcome. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see from this channel. I do loads of helpful science and maths videos as well as study tips, career advice. Let's jump right into the term three topics. The order of the topics as mentioned in this video go according to ATPs or the annual teaching plans which are listed by the Department of Basic Education. So it's very important to note that your school may cover these topics in a different order. Some of these topics that I mentioned in the video may have been covered by your teacher in term one or term two and that means that this term you're going to do other topics. But I'm just basing this video off of the ATPs because most schools follow the ATPs. Now I've got some very, very cool and exciting news for you guys. I made a free document for grade 11s where I detail each of these topics. I list all of them in detail and I tell you what you need to know for each topic. You can find this free document on my website, missmartins.co.za. It will be linked in the description below. I made it like a checklist so you can print it out. You can stick it in your book. You can tick off the topics as you cover them in class or you can use them when you study to see, hmm, have I studied this? Yes. Have I studied this? Yes. So basically you don't forget things when you're studying. Again, you can find this on my website linked in the description below. According to the ATPs, the first topic to be covered in term three in grade 11 physical sciences is stoichiometry or the quantitative aspects of chemical change. As the ATPs mention it, it's basically stoichiometry. And this is a snapshot from my document listing each and everything that you need to know for the topic. There is more. This is all that I could fill on the screen. The rest can be found in the free document. To prepare for this topic, you need to go over your grade 10 stoichiometry. Practice grade 10 past papers for stoichiometry. If you've completely forgotten stoichiometry, how to do it, you can watch my introduction to stoichiometry video where I basically go over the four formulas that you see on the screen over there and I go through examples of how to use each of these formulas. This is a good video to watch to kind of get you back into the stoichiometry mindset. So I would check that video out. It will be linked in the description down below. I'll also try and link it up here. Topic two is called energy and change and you'll be dealing with exothermic reactions and endothermic reactions. This may be familiar to you. Some teachers may or may not mention this in grade 10 already. So to prepare for this topic, I would go over representing chemical change, um, and that includes balancing chemical equations, and also physical and chemical change from grade 10. So again, I will link two videos that may be helpful for you to go over these um, before you do energy and change in grade 11. Just remind yourself how to balance because it's going to be important for the section. Remind yourself about physical versus chemical change and how to recognize those because again, that's going to be helpful for the section. Topic three is called types of reactions. And in particular, you will be learning about acids and bases. Now, the extent to which you will learn about acids and bases will depend on the school that you're at. Again, some schools go over this topic already in grade 10. Now, acids and bases is something that you are taught in grade nine natural sciences. So if you haven't done it in grade 10 and you're like, whoa, I don't remember anything about acids and bases, then I would go back to my grade nine natural sciences book, go over your notes. Stoichiometry can also feature in this section. So it's a good idea to practice your stoichiometry again before your teacher gets to this section. The next topic is called ideal gases. And like the topic heading says, this has got to do with gases the property and the behavior of gases. How can you prepare for this topic? You can go over the grade 10 topic, kinetic molecular theory and states of matter. You should remember this topic from last year. You go over how to describe a gas according to the kinetic molecular theory. Again, there are some videos that I've done covering grade 10 work that will definitely help you prepare for this section in grade 11. All of these videos will be linked in the description down below. And don't forget that the document, the free document that I've made will also be linked down in the description below. Remember, it's on my website, so you can download it from there. Remember to subscribe to my channel for help with all of these topics and more this term. And I wish you the very best of luck for term three. And I can't wait to see you guys and help you in more videos in the future. Goodbye, everybody.